DeGroot X YouTube channel. So buckle up, let's go for a ride. What's up guys? Today is work on the Z day. I got some projects that I've been uh, storing up some parts for. Let's take a look for at it real quick, see what we got. I uh, I came up on a shifter, a short throw shifter through my boy Croy Creedy out there and ordered some other fun goodies. So this is from Fitted Customs. Uh, he 3D prints, it's kind of a low key thing, but uh, he 3D prints these cup holders with USBs. Um, and they supposedly fit right in the cup holder area so that I can actually have a cup holder. Um, so that's going to go in because that's part, kind of, you have to pull that off anyways. Uh, new shift knob, little fair lady shift knob. That's all the things. We got, uh, if you want that, uh, if you want one of these, you got to find them on, uh, Facebook, shoot him a DM. Uh, he's, uh, super, super cool. Went super smooth. Then I have a nice short throw shifter. Z1, of course. Uh, I got a leather shift boot. I'm sorry, this is the leather shift boot, and this is the e-brake boot. Uh, then I also have some other uh, trans and rear diff fluid. That's going to be for another time. So, But right now I'm going to work on the shift boot and see if we can get that squared away. Let's go get going. All right, so we're going to have to remove all of this stuff right here all the way down to there so it's lots of little screws and we're gonna get after it all right so we got this panel off this one's held on by some goo i'm guessing that was some kind of aftermarket things it looks like probably usually clips in there but Whatever, so there's two screws right there and right there. And then there's these little covers right there and right there. Which are those. Those just pop out. And then there's screws behind there. And then this whole thing comes off. <coughs> and the clock obviously is connected, so we'll take that apart and then we'll start getting these screws. From All side. right, so we got this plate, which is bolted underneath this piece. Right there, we got that off. Um, these were a little tricky for some reason. They didn't want to come off, but uh, those came off. This one was the small one that has a little push button. Once you press that, it comes right off. This just needed a little bit of prying. I guess it was just stuck on there. So we're gonna keep uh, keep going. We got to take these off, and I believe we're gonna have to take all of this off, the uh, armrest and this back piece, in order to get to this. So. I'm gonna keep uh keep hey looking guys. this uh the actual shifter boot was i mean i had pliers on and everything i'm like ruining it so i had to kind of try and get this pulled out so i could put it on a vise or something to get the actual shift boot on totally making a hot mess of this but i got this bolt out and then there's a, a nut on this side this this bolt goes down and there's a little nut underneath here and then you can see it down there there's a little bolt that goes through there i'll, I'll show you once it's off but it's coming along it's all 12 millimeter stuff here so we'll see if we can get it done. get it off this bolt goes down underneath here through this this bracket right there you can see it nut bolts underneath through this part through there there's usually there's a bushing in there but it's down there i thought they were rubber but this one is steel oh maybe it's a production change maybe we got upgraded who knows but now i have this thing, nah, this doesn't fit through that hole. So I think I have to push it in from the underside up, maybe, I believe. So I'm working on that. We gotta take these bolts off and take this thing apart. Here you go, guys. So I got this in. I don't know if these are the right nuts or whatever, but they should be right. Um, there's a real barrier. You really have to angle this thing in kind of like down this way and like work it in to get the bottom piece into the hole because the shaft needs to go in the hole. Um, and then of course there's that bottom bolt, which I had a ratchet on this side. And then when you pull it up just high enough, you can get an open end wrench on this side. So that's what I did. I'm going to tighten this up and then it's uh, on to the next thing. It's on. Boots on. This is on. The plate. Now we're moving these two bolts, right? Let's see, they were right here and right here. This bolt, this bolt, this, uh, this little carpet piece comes out. Take these bolts out and this thing comes up and then we'll be able to get underneath 
change these boot out. Uh, I already did install this boot in here. Basically it sandwiches in this plate. There's a bunch of little holes in it that uh, line up with these holes and you can basically stretch it on and then put this plate on. So, And then also this little thing goes in here. That's to keep it from uh, going, keeping it tight and keeping it from moving. And I think this is how this goes. And I think this sits on that so it doesn't slide down any further. We'll see once I get it all put together, but this is what all we're right. doing now. It's kind of tedious work, to tell you the truth. Um, I don't mind interior work most of the time. This is a little bit tedious, mostly the shifter, all the, just the getting the fingers under there is a little rough. But uh, as you can see, we got this, this shift boot on, uh, unplug the cigarette lighter. It's just a red black, which will get, this will get tuned into those. Just a little crimp, crimp, crimp. And this will need to get cut out. I'm gonna to need to cut out this because it uses this pickup point and these two pickup points as well. All right, guys, I got it all trimmed down. And as you can see, this thing fits really well. And these two bolts hold it in up there. And then this one down here, got to get that screw in there. But basically, you just get that nice and flat. And then this just sits in here. I did one little tiny nerf right there. Other than that, it's great fit. I'm really, really stoked on how this is working out so far. So let's go get in the car. Here we go. As you can see, I basically cut off this connector for the just so very simple power and ground for the sig lighter spliced in this little unit that'll go sit down in that nice little pocket we'll plug in the um heated mirrors because we got the posh stuff and the switchy switch we'll get this all back together there you go the old radio back in should probably replace that but we'll get there and then this sweet new cup holder new uh e-brake the new shift boot here and next is sweet new fair lady let's get that on well here you have it guys nice new shift boat boot the z1 fair lady shifter there's also a little, there's a little um inside here you can adjust that so if you need to change the angle on it or whatever New shift boot here, and then of course the cup holder, which is also great for stowing your phone, by the way. So I'm pretty stoked about that. I'm, it'll be nice to be able to charge my phone in here. So there it is. This took forever because every time I tried to work on this, I had to go inside and take care of children things, but I got it done. I'm really happy with it. The shifting on this is so much nicer now. It just feels a little bit more solid. It just, it's great. I'm really happy. I think it took away a little bit of that that um, that notorious kind of first to set or to into second and into fourth. That little bit of grinding. I'm gonna put that red line trans fluid in as well to hopefully help those synchros in. That's a known problem from what I can understand. But other than that, I'm super happy. Came out really clean. Um, big shout out to Z1 for hooking it up with some uh, with some awesome parts as usual. Everything fit great uh, and. I said it in the beginning, but I spaced it on the name of this. But you can find them on uh, on Facebook for these uh, cup holders, and they it fits really nice. It's a really nice little piece. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share with your friends. Appreciate it. This is Degrudex. I'm out.